Hey guys, Saki here from Saki Tech and in today's video I want to show you how to transform your Samsung Galaxy Note 9 into a full-blown PC via Samsung DeX. What you are looking at on the screen is the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 being projected onto my desktop monitor in the form of Samsung DeX which is a superb feature of the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. Now, as you can see, I have a Windows-like interface in which I can convert my smartphone into a desktop PC and get some serious work done. And of course, in this video, I want to show you what you need to get Samsung DeX up and running and actually show you the complete interface and features of the DeX. So let's dive in and discover. Now, before we dive in, if you do own a smartphone, make sure to hit that subscribe button to subscribe to Saki Tech. And of course, make sure to click that notifications bell icon as well to make sure you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. And of course, if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, follow me on all at Saki Tech Online. All right, let's dive in. All right, so basically for Samsung DeX to work, you need three things. Uh, you need your Samsung Galaxy Note 9. Uh, you need an HDMI to USB Type-C cable. And of course, you need a uh, monitor that has an HDMI in port. So if you look at this cable over here, now as you can see, this side over here is a USB Type-C port, and that's going to plug in uh, to the USB Type-C of your Samsung Galaxy Note 9. And this one over here is the HDMI port. This is the regular standard size, and that's going to plug into the back of the HDMI in port on the monitor. And that's everything you need to get DeX started. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to connect this cable to both ends, one end to the uh, back of the uh, Samsung Galaxy Note 9 and the other end to the back of this monitor. And I do want to let you know that when you connect the cables to uh, each other, Samsung DeX launches automatically and the phone itself, the screen on the phone turns into a trackpad just like on a laptop and from there you can control the mouse that you're going to see uh, the mouse pointer that you're going to see on the screen okay so we're going to be using this phone as a trackpad to control the computer-like interface that DeX provides onto the actual monitor if you really wanted to you could also buy a, a bluetooth keyboard and a bluetooth mouse and connect those two guys directly to the uh, bluetooth of your smartphone and then you can uh, use a keyboard and a mouse to control the desktop infer interface in this video, I just want to show you guys everything you can do just with the cable, the phone, and the monitor. But remember, you can always buy the cable, I mean, buy the keyboard and the mouse to enhance your experience. We're just going to be using this as a touchpad. All right, so let's dive in and discover everything. All right, so I've connected the cable uh, to the monitor. It, it goes through the back and connects to the uh, back of the monitor, the HDMI port. And as you can see on the uh, phone, it says Samsung DeX. It says Star Samsung DeX or switch to screen mirroring. And on the monitor, automatically you see Welcome to Samsung DeX. So from the get go, you have two options. You can either uh, uh, do a screen mirroring. So if I tap switch to screen mirroring, you'll see that the exactly whatever is happening on the smartphone uh, has been mirrored now to the actual um, monitor. Okay, so that's great that you can do screen mirroring. So if I pull this down, Boom, you've got screen mirroring, uh, no problem. Okay, so let's um, let's uh, go back and switch over to actual Samsung DeX. So again, what you can do is you can pull this down. Uh, you can tap this guy over here. And that's going to, uh, when you tap that, automatically it switches over to Samsung DeX as you can see. And you're going to see some notifications uh, everywhere. So if I pull this down, you'll see uh, use your phone as a touchpad. That's one of the options that you have. Uh, if you did have a keyboard and a mouse, this wouldn't be a problem. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to tap on this guy. And as you can see, the phone has turned into an actual touchpad. So if you look over here, uh, I'm going to move my finger back and forth. And over there, there is a mouse pointer moving uh, up, down, just like a mouse. Okay. If I want to click on something, I can just tap on the screen and that's going to click something. So if I, let's, let's bring it over here, uh, right over here to the next, tap on it. Tap on it, tap on it, tap. Uh, let's agree to the terms over here. Click on start. And now Samsung DeX has in fact started. Now I'm going to switch over to my other camera. I'm going to show you all everything you can do in the Samsung DeX interface. 
So you know that I'm using this as a trackpad, so you don't have to see this anymore. Now we can focus on the screen so you can see exactly what Samsung DeX does for us. All right, so here's the Samsung DeX interface. Now, uh, in the very beginning, you're gonna, you're gonna see some tutorials. So this one says touch pad gestures. Uh, you can tap on the screen, that's like a click. You can tap with two fingers and that's like a right click uh, when you convert that into a Windows or a Mac machine. So tap with two fingers to right click on items. If I go next over here, uh, it's gonna say you can swipe with two fingers to scroll in any direction. Uh, you can also zoom in or zoom out by pinching your fingers on the trackpad. And remember the trackpad is your Samsung Galaxy Note 9. And if I click next one more time, uh, it says you can touch and hold to select objects on the screen. And you can also touch and hold and move to move objects around the screen, or you can select text. So these are the touchpad gestures uh, you should be aware of as you're using your Samsung Galaxy Note 9 uh, to control the Samsung DeX interface. So let's click OK and take a look around. This is absolutely fantastic. This is a complete desktop interface. Now there are some basics that you need to understand. Uh, at the bottom here, uh, you have the apps, okay? So this is the app drawer that you normally see on your smartphone. And these are all the apps optimized to work on your Samsung DeX. So that's the app drawer. If you tap it, it comes right up. And then this one over here is the Recents button. So uh, this is the uh, multitasking panel. So if you, if you have a bunch of apps running at the same time, uh, if you tap this, you're gonna see them all listed here. I'm gonna show you that in a minute. Uh, this is just a regular home button. So if I was in the app drawer, and if I do tap on the home button, it takes me back to my home screen. And then you, of course you have the back button. So these buttons here mirror what's on your smartphone. The recents button, the home button, and the back button, and this is the app drawer button. Uh, over here, things get a little more interesting right over here in this, in this area. Uh, basically, what you have here is you have your notifications. So if I click on this, these are all the same notifications you see on your smartphone when you pull down the notifications panel. Uh, your, uh, I have my weather widget here. Uh, it says the touchpad is turned on for Samsung DeX. It says, oops, and it also, if you click it, it brings back up the, uh, the uh, actual tutorial, which is great. Uh, it also says that uh, Samsung DeX is currently being used and all the other uh, notifications that I, I, I would usually have on my smartphone's notification display. This area is just a mini version of your notifications. By the way, you can tap on this arrow and you can minimize this entire uh, thing over here, the, uh, the bar. Uh, over here, you have your quick toggle options. If I click on this, these are the quick toggles. You can turn the Wi-Fi on or off, change the sound, uh, turn on or off the Bluetooth. All the quick toggles, including the battery, is right here. Now, when I click on that battery, as you saw, uh, my, uh, my, my settings opened up and the battery came up. Now, I can move this around by tap and holding, as you can see. So with the mouse, it's easier, but with the touchpad, you just press and hold and you can move this window around. So that's one way to uh, multitask. So I can have this right here and I can then open my uh, internet, okay? And I can have, this is just the internet browser. I can have this, let's move this over here, touch and hold. I can move it right here. So now I'm multitasking. And of course I can have multiple tabs. Uh, if I tap over here, it brings up the on-screen keyboard comes up on your actual smartphone. Okay, so I can type from there Let's just type in youtube.com, okay? So I can have YouTube running on this website. Now, it is gonna suggest that I open that as an app. So if I click that, YouTube is gonna open as a separate application as you just saw. And if you go to Saki Tech over here, that's my channel. And of course, the, uh, the video is gonna play through the speakers of the actual smartphone. So this is the YouTube app, okay? Now, notice, let me just move this a little bit. Let's move it right here. Notice the multitasking capability. I have this guy here, I've got this guy here, and I've got this guy here, and I'm using the touchpad on my smartphone to control everything. I can use a keyboard and a mouse if I so desired. Uh, but any window that you're running actually shows up down here, just like on a Windows computer. I can tap this to minimize it, okay? Minimize, minimize. And then I can tap the Recents app key and all those apps are gonna show up here as well and I can pull anyone to the forefront. 
So that's one way to run, uh, that, that's one way to work on your PC. Now that's one thing, and then we were looking at this, this was the quick launch center. And then over here you can search the phone, uh, from here you can search the entire phone uh, from here. You can tap this button here uh, to take a screenshot of the entire DeX. Uh, you can change the volume from here. You can change the ringtone, media, notification system, whatever. Uh, you can also bring up the on-screen keyboard. If you tap this, the keyboard shows up on the actual Samsung Galaxy Note 9's screen. Just like that, all right? And then of course you've got this over here. This says lock phone and Samsung DeX. You can lock them both and walk away for security. Uh, this is the help menu. And uh, this over here, if you click on this, it's gonna open the calendar so you can look at the calendar, the time and everything. All right, so we can X them out from here. Uh, meanwhile, uh, let me just play the video for a minute. Uh, let's, uh, hey there, so here's the video the playing. I'm gonna, video. I'm gonna pause the video just so you guys can see that this is running in the background, no problem, I'm moving this around, okay? Now we can also go to the settings. These are the main settings. When you look at the settings of the actual uh, Samsung DeX, let me minimize this for a cleaner look. Minimize, minimize. Uh, we have on the top, you're gonna see the Samsung DeX settings. So in the smartphone, it's not, the Samsung DeX does not show up on top. But when you're in the DeX mode, uh, the computer knows what you're doing, so it puts the DeX at the top. And of course, if I click on Samsung DeX, as you can see, you have all the DeX options. You have the wallpapers for Samsung DeX. I can change the wallpaper, no problem. Uh, again, I can do home screen, lock screen, or both. Let's just do both. And now uh, you're gonna see, I can click set wallpaper, and boom, in the background, you've got a brand new, beautiful, high resolution wallpaper, okay? So that's that. And that's the set default audio output. So if your uh, computer monitor has uh, speakers, you can change it to this, okay? Right now, the speakers are coming through the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. So these are the Samsung DeX options. Everything else here you're familiar with uh, through your phone. You can make the same modifications here if you so desire. Uh, but this is basically Samsung DeX. You've got a desktop lock interface. You've got the bar at the bottom. You've got your app drawer. Uh, you've got your notifications here, as you can see. You've got your uh, quick panel uh, turn toggles right here. And you've got your other little uh, useful information right over here. And like I showed you guys, you can easily play a video, okay? You can easily play a video, as you can see. And at the same time, uh, do other things like play into your settings. And of course, uh, going back to the app drawer, on the top here, it says apps for Samsung DeX. So if you click on this one, it will launch the Play Store. And in that Play Store, you've got access to all these applications that are custom designed to get productivity work done on your uh, Samsung DeX. Uh, this is the full screen, by the way. So that's the Microsoft Word you can download, PowerPoint, Excel, Hancom Office, OneDrive, Craigslist Plus, ES Explorer. So all these apps are modified to be used via Samsung DeX, no problem. Some of them are paid. Actually, there's no paid apps. They're all free, it seems. So you have a bunch of free apps you can download to boost your productivity on the Samsung DeX. And that is Samsung DeX, guys. All right. Again, all you need is the cable that I mentioned in the beginning, HDMI to USB Type-C. You need your Samsung Galaxy Note 9 to be used as a, as a trackpad and give the functionality of Samsung DeX. And of course, you need this monitor here. Could be any monitor with HDMI in port, and you're going to get this. Oh, and by the way, when you're done uh, using Samsung DeX, all you do is you go back over here uh, to your notifications panel. Uh, not this one, the notifications panel. Uh, you go over here where it says Samsung DeX. You just uh, max, uh, maximize this. And it says uh, switch to screen mirroring. So if you click this, it's going to go back to screen mirroring. And from there, you can just disconnect your smartphone and you are good to go. All right, guys. So um, when you do disconnect from your smartphone, uh, there's nothing to worry about. Everything that you have done on Samsung DeX gets saved automatically. And then whenever you're ready, you can always go back here. Uh, you can reconnect to Samsung DeX by tapping here. Again, as you can see, it's going to convert into a, a trackpad, this phone here, and that's going to go back to Samsung DeX. If you do own a smartphone, make sure to hit that subscribe button to subscribe to Saki Tech. 
And of course, make sure to click that notifications bell icon as well to make sure you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. And of course, if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, follow me on all at Socky Tech Online.